Hey folks, Mike Iaconelli here for VMC Hooks, talking about some rigging techniques. And I'm here to tell you about a really cool little jig that I helped design called a rugby jig. And uh, rugby jig is a really unique shape. Uh, we call it a rugby because the shape of the head, it's actually a cross between a round ball head and a football head. It's somewhere in the middle. And that makes it a really versatile style head to fish around all forms of cover. We've got two forms of this jig. The original, which is a fixed hook in the head, and I love fishing that around isolated targets. If I'm fishing around a dock, a bridge piling, an isolated stump, I'm gonna go with the regular rugby jig. But now we've got this new one too, and this is called the swinging rugby head. And it's basically that same great head style, we're gonna talk about that in a second, but now it's got an articulated free swinging hook. And in situations where I'm covering more water, horizontal situations, a long point, a flat, where it's non-specific targets and you're trying to cover water, man, what an awesome deal. What, what an awesome action to the bait. But let's look at the head real quick and then we're going to rig a bait up on it. And the head's unique not only because of the shape, but some of the features. You know, and the first one is that line tie. And look at that line tie, and it's actually set back into the head. It's called a recessed or an integrated line tie. And that's real important because a line tie that sticks out is going to catch more stuff. You're going to get it snagged on grass. It's going to get abrased from, from rocks and cover. So by recessing that eye, you're protecting the knot. That's a real important thing. The other really cool thing on the rugby head, if you look at it, it's got a little flat spot on the bottom. And that flat spot's going to do a couple things. The first thing it's going to do, it's going to let that bait stand up and have a really cool upward posture when it sits on the bottom. But the other thing on the swinging rugby head it's going to do, it's going to let that bait grind along the bottom. And that's what you want to do in this technique. You want to contact the bottom. So it's going to grind and sled along that bottom as you reel it. Now let's look at the bait. And we've got a big Z-bend hook on this head. And if you look at how long that is, that extra long little shank there is there for more movement and it's there for rigging so your bait doesn't ball up or slide back on the hook. So get your favorite plastic. We're using lizards, big worms, creature baits, even grubs. And we're gonna use a basic Texas rig again. We're gonna go into that bait about an eighth of an inch and pull it out. Same, same deal, we're gonna go around the bend of that hook. So watch that bait as it goes way around and you want to make sure that bait is straight. Always want that bait straight. And then finally, we're going to kind of complete that Texas rig. And there you've got this bait that as you reel it, that hook is going to let the bait swing side to side. You're going to have whatever movement you have on the tail of the bait, and you're going to grind along. These rugby heads are perfect for heavy cover situations, for more sparse cover situations, and everything in between. If you like to catch big fish, if you like their own plastics, I don't care what style, put it on a rugby head, put it on a swinging rugby, and hold on because you're going to catch some giants. Mike Iaconelli talking about the amazing rugby head.